The title says it all. I've added animated particle effects inside Hyperpad. And I've got good news for you. You can try this out right now in the beta release. The link to join the beta is in the description, and the link to the documentation of this feature will also be in the description. Yay! With animated particles, you can create cool effects like these ones. Whoa! They work exactly the same as normal particle effects, except the particles are simply swapping frames over time. Yeah, I ripped these assets from Minecraft and made them work inside Hyperset. <laughs> The way I got this to work was pretty clever, um, I had to find out how to do it on my own since there was no tutorial or documentation on how to do this, so <laughs> yeah, it was tough. But anyways, Hyperpad uses Coco's 2D, a very popular 2D game development framework, the same one that Geometry Dash uses. Coco's 2D. Yeah, Geometry Dash, you know, this game! You know, people be making crazy stuff on there, like how? How the freak do you make this? Anyways, back to the topic, animated particles. Um, The way that Coco Studio handles displaying particles from what I understand is that it creates a thing called a render state. Um, A render state tells the rendering engine how to draw stuff on the screen. It keeps track of the blending mode, shader variables, and the texture to use. Um, just worry about the texture for this case. This is great for drawing a lot of the same things on screen at once, since care. all you need to know is their transform properties like position, rotation, scale, color, etc. You can draw thousands of things in one frame but only use one render state. Normally, particle effects use one single render state to draw all of its particles because all particles will use the same texture and blending mode, which is very efficient. That's how you can have tens of thousands of particles without performance drops. It's crazy fast. For animated particles, I had to do something cheeky huh? because a render state cannot have its texture changed. And if it could, particles need to be able to display different frames of an animation anyways instead of displaying only one at a time. So I made multiple render states creating one for each frame of an animation that will be used on the animated particles. Then each particle will keep track of what frame it's on, and depending on what frame it's on, it will determine which render state to use. The particle effect will go through each render state and draw all particles associated with the render state. If we slow the simulation down, you can see it draws the oldest frames first. I intentionally programmed it like this so newer particles will always appear over older particles. And this worked flawlessly and surprisingly fast. Okay, let's see if this works. Yep. Yo, it works! <laughs> Yo, wait, let's let's see if this works. Yo! Okay, now it's time to show you how to use this inside a hyperpad. It's very simple actually. Yeah, um, I kinda fixed the particle editor too while I was at it. I fixed all the text that was clipped. Oh yeah, I also fixed this too, so you can put it to be a negative number. Anyways, all particles are set to have the non animation type by default. This is the particle type that we are all very used to. One static texture for all the particles. The fun begins when you set it to once. Wait, nothing's happening. Well, that's because we haven't even imported our animation yet. <laughs> to do that, tap on the particle preview icon and it will bring up this GUI. You might be familiar with this GUI if you used animation behaviors in Hyperpad before. It all works the same. Tap on this toolbox icon to go to your assets to select an animation. You can put in individual frames or import an entire animation. It's up to you. And as you can see, we have animated particles. You can adjust all the parameters to your liking. They all work the exact same. And now you have a very cool effect that you can use in your project. Oh my god, that's so cool! Moving on to the loop animation mode. It's the same as the once animation mode. The only difference is that you can adjust the frame rate of the animation. A higher frame rate means the animation runs faster. The once animation mode forces the particles to run an animation once over their entire lifetime, whereas the loop animation mode forces the particles to run at a specific frame rate. The reason why it's called loop is because the animations can repeat multiple times in a single particle lifetime. And that's pretty much it for animated particles. It's a very simple concept, yet it's visually pleasing. <laughs> Thank you.
Alright, let's see how many animated particles Hyperpet can handle. Okay, Clarissa, we can do a live stream next week, that's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, anyways, yeah, we're gonna be testing the limits of this, so I have a little scene right here. Um, at, right now it's just uh, a simple little label, and it spawns TNT every time you touch it. And the TNT is gonna be spawning particles, so yeah. <laughs> Let's, let's blow it up. Yes, sir. Oh my god, man. That is so satisfying. But watch, watch. That's, that's crazy. It gets laggy when you add a bunch of objects, but that's just physics, not particles. But let's see how much um, Hyperpad can handle with this. <laughs> Come on. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. Oh wow, it's handling this really well actually. Nope. It's there's this flash of black for a second. It's doing it. Oh my gosh, my screen keeps flashing black. But still, this is actually impressive. And then it speeds up. Oh yeah, there it is. All the particles. The particles don't even lag the game at all, it's just, it's just the objects. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy impressive. But let's do an actual test, you know? So I created a particle effect, and this particle effect has 2,000 individual particles. Um, wow, oops, I didn't make that, I didn't mean to make that big. But yeah, um, that's crazy. This is 2,000 particles right here. Five of these makes 10,000 particles. Oh wow, it's, it's running really smooth. What? That's crazy. All right, I doubled it, 20,000 particles. Wow, it runs smooth. This is 40,000. Ooh, it's lagging a little bit, just a little bit, but it's handling it still, oh my gosh. I optimized this really well, actually. <laughs> I, I doubled it. Okay, I'm, a, I'm gonna double it again. Boom. Oh! Oh yeah, I'm feeling it now, the lag. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Yeah, it's getting hurt now. <laughs> it's suffering. Oh my gosh. Yep. Oh my gosh. Move this down here, move this down here. Yep. Oh my god, you can see how it fades away like that. Oh, that's so cool. YouTube compression is going to ruin all of this. Let's watch. It's going to be... Oh! My gosh. If you guys can see, like, the full, like... Oh my god. I don't know how many particles this is. But I'm going to display it on screen for you guys. Oh my gosh. I have another project right here. This is going to keep spawning more particle effects without having me place them so yeah so the particle effect right here and i made it really small so uh you can see more of the particles on screen so yeah 2000 300,000 500,000 600,000 i'm surprised hyperpad has not crashed yet this is this is a million particles what the freak it doesn't it didn't crash <laughs> oh yeah Oh yeah, you know it's bad when it turns black for a whole second, but I can zoom in. Ooh, you can see the individual particles. Yo! Oh yeah, it's it's, it's a slideshow now. It's not, there's no frames per second, it's a slideshow. <laughs> I'm zooming out now. Oh my gosh, this looks crazy. I could probably optimize this more, but like... This is already good enough. <laughs> Oh my gosh, two million particles? No way! Oh, it's 250 million particles, 260 million particles. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this now before I crash Hyperpad. Oh wow, <laughs> it's laggy. Why is it so laggy in the editor? Oh, I gotta fix that. Maybe the particles did not um, fully clean themselves out of the memory, but wow, that's crazy. Yay. Yeah. 
That is all for this video. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see in Hyperpad, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.